I want to talk about something called the Diderot effect. You guys are like, what the hell is this guy talking about? The Diderot what? The Diderot effect is related to economics. Now, why is this important? If you watch this channel, if you've been watching for the last couple years, and by the way, I appreciate it, I've talked about a lot of different products, uh, a lot of Predator products, because Predator sponsors my channel. And a lot of you, a ton of you, probably about 50 or 60 to be honest, have gotten in touch with me in one way or another and said, Brian, I bought that cube because you liked it or you play with it or you talked about it on your channel or I bought that Predator rack. Whatever the case is and whatever the product is, I wanted to bring to your attention that there is a thing called the Diderot effect. Now, I'll explain it to you in terms of other products. Have you ever bought a new house? I bet a lot of you have. I know what my demographic is and you guys have bought a number of houses. One of the things that happens when people buy new houses, you know what they also buy? They buy new cars. Usually within a couple years, they'll buy a new car. This, this car is not good enough for my new house. So besides things that they need like furniture, they're buying the new car. You know what else they buy? New clothes. One purchase very often leads to another purchase. And it happens all the time, especially in pool. I know guys who, you know, bought a pool table and next thing you know, they've got a $1,200 pool cue and they've got the $100 rack and they've got a lot of these different products. Well, I'm here to tell you, number one, don't stop buying them. It's very good for the game. It is very good for all our friends who own pool halls and sell cues and own retail stores. Do not stop buying the stuff, but I wanted to give you a pass. It's okay. It's okay if you bought this table and then you bought the cue and then you bought the rack and then you bought maybe the shirt and the $25 chalk. If you can afford it, don't feel guilty about it. I know some of you feel guilty about it. Oh, my game is not up to a, a thousand dollar cue. I'm an APA three or four. I'm just starting out or whatever the case. It's all right. I just wanted you to know that it is a trend. It is something that happens in pool and outside of pool. The purchases of my cues over the last, let's say 30 years, if you looked at it on a graph, it looks like this. I bought a $200 cue that I played with for years and bought another $200 cue a little bit after that. And then Mike Massey introduced me to low deflection. And I bought probably within a two year time period, about five or six different pool cues, different manufacturers, but a lot of predator stuff. Some of you have people you need to answer to, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, et cetera. But tell them Brian said it's okay that you spent that money on pool equipment. We need to keep the game and the industry going. The next subject kind of relates to the same thing. Support your local businesses that support our game. If, there's a, if it's just a local bar that's got a couple pool tables, they take care of the pool tables and you know, they're good to you guys, support them. I've had a pool table in my house since I was 17 years old, but I've spent thousands of dollars in pool halls because I went to pool halls to do well. And of course that's where the games are, but you need to understand it. Just because you have a table at home, even if you're not competing, go to your local pool hall, put in some hours there, get in your reps on a different type of table and support these businesses. A lot of businesses in general are one bad month away from being under. Everybody I talk to that is serious about pool can name a pool hall that went out of business sometime between 2020 and 2022. And I can name three within an hour's drive of where I am right now that went under. So understand, we need them. We need the business to keep going whether it's a pool hall, a bar, a retailer that sells pool equipment, support them and let them know that you're there to support them. Let them know. 
hey, I want you guys to succeed because I love this game and I like that you guys are giving us a good, safe, sometimes safe, <laughs> nice place to play. All right? And tell them Brian from FX Billiards uh, sent you there if you've never been there before. They'll give you the FX Billiards discount. Yeah, just ask for it. See what happens. <laughs> All right.